We've been together for the last 30 years. We have always been very close. It was love at first sight. I recognised in Jean's eyes, and obviously Jean recognised in my eyes, that there was something there immediately. In 2016, Jean's health began to deteriorate. Louis body, dementia and Parkinson's. I nursed Jean at home. Unfortunately, because of the gradual deterioration, a suitable residential care home was found for her. And I went every single day without fail for two and a half years in March of this year, the manager of the care home came into our room and said, Kevin, I'm very sorry. The care home is now going into lockdown and you will have to leave. I said to Jean, I love you. I love you so much. I will come back as soon as I, I am allowed to come back. I am absolutely heartbroken because I can't sit with her, I can't hold her hand, and it's, it's terrible, it's terrible. And what also I find very, very difficult is when I get home, I'm going into an empty house. And what I do, I sit down on one of the chairs and literally cry my heart out. I would receive the odd telephone call from the Colwyn Bay office of the Alzheimer's Society just to give me that little bit of support. And they said, would you like to receive a companion call? So obviously I said, yes, please. When I first um, spoke to Kevin, it was really obvious that he was really devoted to Jeanette and was kind of really suffering. I was so thankful because I knew that there was someone out there that would support me, that would help me, someone I could talk to. That was my lifeline. I think everyone should have someone who um, who will call, find out how you are, who, if you don't answer one day, will call another day to make sure you're okay, so you're not kind of feeling completely alone. The Alzheimer's Society knew what I was going through, and I felt that at last someone is out there that understands what it's like. Hi, Rachel. Nice. Hello. How are you, Kevin? I'm fine. Nice to hear from you again. 